And we're back with another episode of Butterfly Soup. So, let's go. Let's just, let's just get her into this. <laughs> I only got two hours of sleep. No, I don't want to get up. Excuse <laughs> me. Ten minutes pass like this. Once the allotted time is up, Dia unenthusiastically peels herself up off peels herself off the mattress and stands. After stretching for a few moments, she starts getting ready for school. Hmm? My classmate Akarsha messaged me. Check your computer. Oh my god. That is such a ninth grader thing. I totally had Kanata as my ninth grade profile picture at least once. Hey, idea. Hey. Hey. Huh? <laughs> what? Oh, look at that dog. Oh my god. Dia, yeah, you like Pringles, right? <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, why? Go outside. Oh my god. Did she bring you Pringles? Oh, what a good... What a good... This writing. Dia goes outside. There's a lone Pringle sitting on the ground. Uh, excuse me? I like how she looks the same after five years. Hey, Karsha. What's up, homie? Look at this freaking windbreaker. That's so good. This is a Karsha. She's the kind of person who doesn't give pencils back. <laughs> That's totally a whole type of person. Oh my god. You know when you become friends with someone just because you have to see them so much? Oh yeah. Yeah, that, th that's us. My parents are always saying I should be more outgoing like her. Like that's something I can change. Hey dear, you know what's the- You know what the- What's the best weed? It's when I'm weed you. Aww. <laughs> Dia briskly begins walking away without her. Aw, you're no fun. Have it your way, Burger King. Why is she so great? She's so great. Akarsha is half jogging to keep up with Dia. Hey Dia, did you know that your eye has something called immune privilege? This basically means the outside of your eye prevents the, your immune system from knowing about the inside of your eye. <laughs> if it didn't, your immune system would destroy your eyes. That's incredible. That doesn't sound right. I don't believe you. Why not? Because you lie to me all the time. Noelle said not to trust you no matter what. <laughs> Wait, what? When? When we, when we first met you this year, after you accused her of being a robot with artificially implanted human emotions. Hey, she got annoyed when I pressed a magnet to her head. That means she's a replicant and it was messing with her circuits. Checkmate. <laughs> no, she was annoyed because you pressed a magnet to her head. She's so good. Oh, come on. I was trying to make a good first impression. That That is not. That's not how you make a good first impression. <laughs> What's a girl to do? Not that. <laughs> Poor me. No one feels sorry for you. Look at those cars. There's a bunch of adults dressed in yellow with the intersection waving signs. What is that? They're trying to take away gay marriage. Oh. Gay marriage is allowed? Dude, it's been legal for a few years now. Oh, wasn't paying attention. Protect marriage. Yes, on Prop 8. Oh, I freaking remember Prop 8. I was all over the internet when that was happening. Marriage equals one man and one woman. A smiling woman with a baby strap. Wait, Prop 8 was, uh... When I was in high school, so I guess... Wasn't it? Let me look it up. Hold on, give me a second. Prop 8. Because I want to know what year this takes place in. 2008, 2009. So, this... They're in grade 9 in 2009. That's my age. They are my age. Wow. It says, I hurt my gay brother. Still yes on 8. No. What kind of cognitive dissonance? So, now I just feel more attached to these tiny babies knowing that they are me. In this year. Hey dear. Would you eat a tiny 2 inch person alive for a hundred million dollars? <laughs> I'd eat him. Cause like, at that point, not eating the, chi uh, the tiny person would just be irresponsible and is actually hurting your family. <laughs> Dang, you wouldn't feel bad at all? I'd feel terrible. You realize he dies? But he's only two inches tall. He's still a real dude, man. Where are you, some kind of short people hater? This is on a whole other level from short. His brain must be the size of a pea. Dude, imagine. What if you were the tiny guy? If I were him, 
I'd go into a total panic. I would scream and scream. I wouldn't want to get eaten. And why are we talking about this? Was there a right answer? Is this gonna affect my choices? Or my ending? We made it to school. I should go in my locker first before going to class. Suddenly, a car she takes off running. Huh? Where are you going? Huh? It's pee pee time. What? Can you not say things like that? Akasha left. <laughs> she never takes a day off from being weird. She's also me? Okay. Use locker. Geometry. Ugh. This is technically both me and Noelle's locker. School doesn't have enough lockers for everyone, so freshmen share. And they're tiny. I'm always surprised when high schoolers in movies have lockers big enough to fit people inside. Yeah, we had half lockers. Whose is this? Noelle's lunchbox. There's a steel thermos and a plastic baggie of grapes. Grapes! What? Do you shovels half the grapes through multiple before putting the lunchbox back? But what? Okay, get your stuff. Tia has her books and binders into her backpack. Alright, I can go to class now. Mm, closed door, what's this? Look at Rosen? This is Rosen for string instruments. First time Noelle showed it to me, I tried to eat it. It does look very jelly and edible. Rosen's a nice amber color. Looks like you can eat it, but you can't. <laughs> mm. Okay, let's go to class. Dia, help me! Aw, she's so cute! It's Noelle. What is it? I can't open this water bottle. Oh, Poor baby. Noelle basically has noodles for arms. Open the water bottle. Dia takes the water bottle out of Noelle's hands and twists the plastic sealed cap open. Thank you. How are you so weak? It's scary. <laughs> it's the manufacturer's fault for making these seals so strong. What if you get lost in a desert and find a bottle of water? You'll die because you can't open it. No, I won't. You can open it for me. Aw, that's assuming I'll be in the desert with you. I should start changing, charging you a service fee. 25 cents. You wouldn't do that. I'd make a dollar twenty-five per week. You can buy cup noodles from the student store. Noel sneezes violently. Don't get too close to me. I probably have the flu. What? Did you catch what I had last week? Probably. Sorry. This happens a lot because we spend so much time together, and I eat her food. <laughs> Aww. Doesn't help that our immune systems are professionally weakened from sleep deprivation either. Can you hear my water bottle? Whoops. At least you don't have to worry about me being contagious. Are you okay though? Shouldn't you go home? And what? Miss school? Oh, she's also me. <laughs> I guess that's out of the question. Even when Noelle had the stomach flu in middle school, her parents just made her come for math and science classes. She was like, barely conscious. I had to carry her around because she wouldn't get up from her desk. I think she ended up infecting half the school. Uh, incredible. Good job. Where's Akarsha? She... It's tricky time. <laughs> Who goes to the bathroom at school? It's gross. School bathrooms are so gross. Just go home. If you're walking distance away from school, just go home. Okay, never mind. Why do you ask? I secretly sewed a library book security tag into the inside of Karsha's backpack. So from now on, every time she leaves the library, she'll set off the alarm and have her backpack searched. Wow, do you hate her? That's... wow. Well, whatever. We'll have plenty of chances to see. Let's go. A huge mob of kids is packed outside the classroom. They're all looking at the grid of test scores posted outside the wall. Oh, I remember that. Looking at test scores on the wall. Horrible. It's like taped to the classroom door. It's complete chaos. People are pushing and angling their way to the list with the fervor of belief. Oh my god, this is this is, this is such 2000. Like this is a new game. This game came out in 2017, so this is such a. Oh my god, if I get to be my parents to throw them on my GameCube, this is so 2009. Yikes, that's got to be an empty threat, right? I wish they already threw away my cell phone. Ooh, cell phones. I'm scared to see what I got on this. I think I failed. Asian failed or actually failed? Oh. I constantly Asian fail. Come on, I'm not that dumb. Talk to classmates. Yeah, right. Too scary. <laughs> oh no, poor baby. Okay, let's see. This is a list of the top 10 scores across all periods. Noelle aced it. Classic. She used to call me on the phone crying every Christmas because her parents got her math workbooks instead of what she really wanted. Oh, poor baby. By now she's unbeatable. It's like a tragic superhero origin story. Except instead of a superhero, she's every Asian parent's dream child. No clue how Akarsha managed to get the second highest score, though. What? General consensus is that she's cheating, but teachers have never been able to catch her doing anything. So I guess I'll give her the benefit of the doubt. Dia, look at your ID number. Here. 
You got a 91.22%. How? Phew, almost failed. Oh my god. I got through high school with mostly B's and C pluses. It's incredible. I have I am such an Asian failure. Considering how many I guessed on, it's still cutting it pretty close. That's scary. I really studied as hard as I could, but even my best well, almost wasn't good enough. I wonder if I can get into Stanford or Berkeley like this. Okay, let's go to class. Oh my god. Let's see, I know went out to the classroom, something burst out of the cabinet. Whoo! Ah! Noel staggers backwards onto an X mark on the floor with duct tape. The garbage clan drops from the ceiling. Oh my god, are these guys in a war? No! Ha <laughs> Noel and Akar should go through some variations of this every single day. It's their roundabout way of being friends. Are they friends? Well, well, well. If it isn't my favorite Frenchman, Noel. Please stop calling me that. Why are you speaking English, Noel? What kind of Frenchman are you? It's because my name is French doesn't mean I'm French. Ha ha ha. They get. <laughs> See, this is the problem. Whenever Noel hears something stupid, she just can't let it slide. She always has to correct it. So Akarsha just keeps acting dumber and dumber on purpose into infinity. <laughs> I love them both. I love them all. Noel does an impressive worm like dance to wriggle out of the garbage bin. I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> I can't believe you done it. What happened to our truce? Truce? From yesterday, you agreed to this. Noel pulls a sheet, a sheet of binder paper from my book bag and brandishes in front of Akarsha's face. Look, this is your own signature at the bottom. <laughs> Suddenly, I can't read. Akarsha! <laughs> Noel's scream sounds very weird and hoarse from her cold. What's wrong with your voice today? That was a weaker yell than normal. I'm ill. I'm losing my voice. How would I punch you in the throat? It'll displace the mucus. That sounds very reasonable. <laughs> no, it won't. How do you know? Anything is possible. Trust me. I'm here. Sobu... Soba ni iru kara. You're the absolute last person I would trust. You worthless scammer. Leave all your problems to me. I'll solve them in a heartbeat. That is unrealistic and accelerating that fast would injure... I'm gonna choke. Hold on. <clears throat> Oh, that is unrealistic and accelerating that fast would destroy you even past your bone structure. Why are you being so mean? I'm just trying to help you. <laughs> Hitting me isn't helping me. Why am I all of these characters? Wow, someone has anger management problems. You gotta slow down and smell the flowers. Appreciate life's miracles. <laughs> like me. I'm life's greatest miracle. Oh my god, she is. Absolutely disgusting. I feel nauseated just looking at you. I don't understand. Why is there so much hate in the world? <laughs> If I knew these girls in high school, I would be their best friends forever. If only we could open our hearts to love, there would be no wars. Peace begins with a smile, Mother Teresa. Noel's struggling not to break character by laughing. <laughs> Bell rings. This concludes Noel and Akarsha's daily meeting, daily morning scream fest. Look at this classroom. Single desks. Did we have single desks? Oh. No, I think we had tables in high school. No, wait, I did have single desks. I hated those. The rest of the morning is relatively uneventful. I hated sitting alone. <clears throat> guess what? What? No, 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 you gotta guess. No, I hate that. Hold on. Give me a second. What? Where's my mute button? I have to rearrange my table and it's gonna make a huge noise, so give me a second. Nope, it didn't turn off. Did I- did you hear that anyway? I pressed mute for nothing. I have to actually mute it on the thing. I'm not- Damn it! What? Hold- hold on. I forgot I have to mute it on OBS because I have this new microphone now. I was just clicking my headphones like- Did you hear that? Hopefully you didn't hear that. I had to rearrange my desk. No, no, you gotta guess. You were arrested. What? No. You have a year left to live. What the? Dude, why are you guys gonna jump to the worst possible conclusion? Why do you think? I guarantee is that I'm either right or presently su pleasantly surprised. You're a real piece of work, you know that? Whatever. I'll just tell you. Did you guys hear about the new girl who transferred here? Apparently she's like a delinquent. I heard she knifed someone. Oh my god, it's Min. It's Min, it's Min, it's Min, it's Min. She must not be very intelligent. Isn't that exciting? We never get that type around here. 
It's true, everyone here is kind of forced to become a nerd by default. I can't wait to meet her. What for? Do you want to get stabbed too? <laughs> sure, why not? Saves me trouble from doing it myself. <laughs> Noelle rolls her ass and goes back to organizing her fried rice. She's picking all the sausage bits out so she can leave the leftovers. <laughs> Don't do that. I like being alive at the same time as you. That's the sweetest thing you've ever said to me. I love these two and I hope they get together. Really? Then I take it back. Wow. Noelle sides her thermos across the table at Dia. Fried rice! Hey Dia. How many second graders do you think you could beat up if they came at you in waves of 10 with a 5th grader boss coming every 5 waves? Huh, that's a good question. Let's see here. I... Hmm. Oops, hold on. The cord got stuck. Uh... Hmm. How many single second graders? I say... Like 15. A 5th grader I can take if there's just one. Second graders I could take uh, maybe two or three at a time. So like after the first fifth grader I'd be totally wiped. So maybe... So these are the same answer. No. A few dozen. I read that wrong. I read it as a dozen. Okay. Maybe like 15? What? You're underestimating yourself, man. I'm not invincible. This isn't a kung fu movie. But they're little. It's easy to mess them up. You could just tell them they laugh weird and they'll be self-conscious about it for the rest of their lives. Oh my god! <laughs> Noelle looks a bit left out by this conversation. Why just see it? How come you're not asking me? Because I already know the answer for you. Zero. Yeah, it's true. You're a weakling. How rude. Noelle, let's arm wrestle. I want to show Karsha. She hasn't seen this. Oh my god, Noelle is going to be me. I have never won an arm wrestle in my life. And I bet now I could probably beat someone, but I just haven't gotten around to trying. I don't want to. I always lose. I'll let you use both hands this time. Noelle makes a face. Reluctantly, she clasps both her hands on Dia's so it's sandwiched in between hers. 3, 2, 1. Noelle strange against Dia's grip with all her might. Oh, hey. Hold on. A copyright claim was created for content in Butterfly Soup Part 1. Let me take a look. Uh... Copyrighted content overflowing. Claim by Atlantis Company Limited. There are no problems, you don't need to take any action, you don't need to delete your video. Okay, sure, whatever. I'm gonna keep uploading this, it's not like I'm making money or anything. Erg. Ha! Erg! Tia's arm still hasn't budged an inch. With her free hand, Dia casually continues to eat fried rice. Do you- stop that! Akarsha, what do you think of the weather today? Stop toying with me. If I did that, I'll break your wrist. You know what I mean. Dia pins Noelle's arm to the table as gently as possible. Oh, this is some fox and hound shit. Normally, these scrawny nerds are herd together so jocks like Gio won't scratch stuff in the trash cans. How did you two even end up friends? Don't remember. You don't remember? You're always just there by default. That is not what happened. You had one bad ear, so you had a lot of trouble making sense of what any, making sense of what anyone was saying. You just play wall ball against yourself or run laps on the track. That sounds about right. One day, someone brought in Krispy Kreme donuts for their birthday. I didn't like donuts, so I. You don't like donuts? Yeah, what the hell? I don't like donuts, they're disgusting. Disagree. Her taste buds are broken. Anyway, I gave mine to you, and in exchange, I received your undying, completely unwanted loyalty. Oh, Yeah, Dia is me? You give me a donut, I'm yours? You followed me around everywhere. You were a major inconvenience. I don't remember any of this. How do you not remember? You look so extreme. What if the teachers tried to separate us? You'd start crying. Oh, baby! I seriously don't remember any of this. It's probably because your birthday is November. You were a almost a full year younger than me. A year is a big gap when you're five. When you're five? Aww. True, I was probably like a toddler. Sorry. I forgive you. A tell kawaii. <laughs> Never use that phrase ever again. A phrase. You know what phrase. <laughs> Excuse me. Mm -hmm. She's talking to me. No, go away. That's me. <laughs> no, go away. Dia looks wildly around for Noelle or Akarsha to help her, but they've both already gone ahead into the classroom. I remember you. You were... <laughs> what is she saying? I've never met her in her life. I've never met her in my life. New clubs are... Interest. Crap. I can't really make out the words. I'll just nod appropriately at times. Oh, she's half deaf. <sighs> oh my god, I'm probably half deaf. I can never hear anyone. I... At work, I have to constantly pe get people to repeat what they're saying to me because I can't read their lips either because they mumble. 
Ah, uh, we're collecting signatures to approved. Uh, the stranger hands the clipboard with a signature sheet on it. Huh? What is this? Don't sign the paper, but it's a Prop 8 thing. Bye! Dio walks away in the middle of conversation. She quickly enters the classroom before the girl can stop her. Good. Oh. Inside, Akarsha and Noelle are playing cards. Time to reveal your hand in 3, 2, 1. Noelle and Akarsha flip their cards over. Why is there a Yu-Gi-Oh card? <laughs> Akarsha taps it with her index finger. You've just activated my chat card. I bet it's that. This is Exodia, the forbidden one. The guts of the box, Taco Bell. <laughs> I love her. Everything she says is so good. You can't do this. Akarsha reaches across the desk and takes one of Noel's cards. What are you doing? You said you were going to play this normally. There's no rule in Yu-Gi-Oh saying you can't eat the enemy's cards. We're playing poker. There's no rule in poker saying you can't eat the enemy's cards. <laughs> oh my god. Akarsha is very good. Hmm. <laughs> All right, just one more period before the day's over. Looking flush, Noelle wets the sweat off her brow. Why is it so hot? Yeah, look at their outdoor classrooms and stuff. That's crazy. Why is it so hot? Because I'm here. <laughs> you shut up. <gasps> no, wait, I need to do a better gasp. <gasps> my heart is exploding. My lungs are without air. My blood is boiling. My body is shaking. Tears are running down my face. <laughs> Noelle is unsteadily... unsteadily ugh. Noelle is unsteadily grasping the side of a bench for support. What are you doing? I feel extremely dizzy all of a sudden. As a precaution, I will remain stationary until the symptoms... Oh, did she fall? Oh no. Oh no, fever, baby. Take you to the nurse's office, dude. No. Don't you dare. I need to go to the next period. Attendance is 20% of my grade in gym class. Oh god, gym. Missing one day can't hurt. Gym is like a freebie anyway. No, you don't understand. It's my worst subject. I can't afford to lose any more points while my mile time is 18 minutes every week. I don't know how much a mile is, but apparently my 2 kilometer time was like 20 minutes. Because I never ran. Unless I cheated. But even when I did cheat, I didn't try to make my score better. I would like... I would walk, and I'd get 20 minutes. And then sometimes I would walk one lap, and then just sort of sit there pretending to tie my shoe for like 15 minutes. And then I'd finish, and it'd be 20 minutes. I'm not a dummy. I don't try and get ahead. I just get by. <laughs> so slow? What the? Oh, it's not my fault because it turns out I had um, exercise induced asthma. So don't blame me. Don't make that face at me. I'm not you, G. No, I launched to a sneezing fit. Jim, Jim's not even math or science. Is it that big of a deal? It'll still ruin her GPA and valedictorian status. Her parents will yell at her and it'll be really mean. What do we do? If she gets to be because we took her to the nurse's office, it'll destroy her. But she's in no condition to be working out either. She can't even stand without me holding her up. Let's see their heads. There's gotta be a way out of this. Like what? Like, if a meteor hits Earth around, no one will mind if Nico Noelle skips gym class. Brilliant. If the world ends, we're saved. Even canceling school would be easier. Hold that thought. If school's canceled, if school's canceled right now. <laughs> snow day, but there's no snow. But, the, but how? She's gonna ring the fire alarm, isn't she? Karsha is clearly going down some weird line of reasoning. Dude, I've got it. Do you stay with Noelle while I, uh, do some stuff? What stuff? Uh, you're not gonna like it. Before I tell you, you gotta promise not to get mad. What? Well, promise? She's gonna pull the fire alarm. I promise not to get mad if you pull the fire alarm. Dia, what if it's something insane? Then I'll just be annoyed internally. I knew I could count on you, a true homie. What about you, Frenchman? I can't promise not to get mad. Just tell us already. Nope, I'm not telling you then. What about me? I agreed. Heck no, I already know how it is with you two. If I tell you, you'll tell Noelle as soon as I'm gone. Damn, that's true. <laughs> Adios, amigos. Wait, where are you going? Shrek Swamp. She's so good. Akasha left. <laughs> I have a bad feeling about this. Me too. Why does everything have to be some kind of weird mind game with her? It's exhausting. She sounds so weak, she should rest on the bench. Dia sits and lays Noelle down so her head is resting on her lap. Aw. Nothing we can do now but wait. Do we really have to do this? This is embarrassing. Oh, come on. I've seen you throw up in a trash can at Happy's Fish Swim School because you were so bad at swimming you inhaled half a gallon of water. Oh my god. Compared to that, this is like a three. My microphone back on. Okay. This is different. Right, This right now is unnecessary. Your thighs are so muscular that I feel like I'm resting my head on a rock. <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. It wasn't a compliment. How mean. Now we definitely have to do this. Mm. Let's see. 
Dia presses her hand in Will's forehead. It's hot. Harder than my own forehead? Studies show that people who try to diagnose fever by touch significantly overestimate the in incidence of fever, sometimes as much by 40%. Huh. Oh, never mind then. Talk to Noel. Oh my god. Mm. <laughs> Would you eat a tiny two-inch man for a hundred million dollars? I bet she's gonna say, of course not, that's illegal. Of course not, that's homicide, which is illegal. What is this? Some kind of, some dumb Akarsha question? Yeah. Oh. Talk about Chinese. Okay. Did you know in ancient China they slept on rock pillows? I saw on Discovery Channel. This isn't making me feel any better. You're going back to your ancient roots. I don't want to go back to my ancient roots. Tell Noel to get in shape. Get in shape. Even ignoring your gym class grade, the way you are right now is just bad. You're like that life alert commercial. I fall and I can't get up. I know, I know. <laughs> then why don't you do something? What if it's a zombie apocalypse and I get bitten first? How are you going to survive? I can't help it. I don't have any time to work out. I can barely even keep up with my schedule as is. That's just an excuse. She'd be able to figure something out for her, wasn't it? If only there was a way to get no to get Noelle to enjoy exercising. They're gonna all join a baseball team and it's gonna be so cute. I'm running out of water. I might just have to end the video because I am dying of dehydration. How long do we have until class starts? About two minutes. Maybe you should head to class, you'll be tardy. No, it's fine, I run fast. Suddenly, Noelle tries to sit up. Her abs are too weak though, so she fails and flops back down. Oh, that's so sad. What are you doing? Becoming a fish? I just had a great idea. You know how on Valentine's Day you can pay the school to deliver roses to someone? Oh, like in middle school. You could have them secretly send your crush candy grams for five dollars. Yes, like that. Except here, we're more mature, so it's flowers. We should send a crush of one with the message from your secret admirer. Imagine how confused she'll be. And we can tease her relentlessly about it. It'll be hilarious. You know what I think? I think she actually secretly admires her, and she just wants to send her one, but she's just covering with this. Okay, that is pretty funny. It's not even that mean, because she'll get free flowers out of it. Yeah, that is not that mean. The secret admirer part is the best. She'll drive herself nuts trying to figure out who it is. Alternatively, we can sign it with really common initials like KC. Are those common? Do I know anyone with the initials KC? Hmm, I don't think so. She'll look up every guy with those initials at the school. That's good too. I can't decide if it's funnier to have her conclude it's a random person or for her to com for her to be constantly suspicious of everyone. Maybe we can do this every year, like a tradition. Oh my god, you're genius! First, first two years we don't give her any clues, and then junior year we add the initial to encourage her to jump to the wrong conclusions. That way we'll get to see both. Ooh, <laughs> Noelle's in such a good mood she lets out a creepy evil laugh. We can also make the message a cipher so she has to solve it. If you put too much math in it, she'll know it's you. Ciphers aren't math. If you have to explain to me what it is, she'll know it's you. Fair enough. <laughs> How much do the roses cost? Probably around twelve dollars. Twelve dollars? What? That's six per person. Don't really want to spend that much on a joke. Especially if it's annual. It'll be forty-eight dollars in all. We could split the class between more people so it'd be more reasonable. We don't have any other friends who would appreciate it. Oh, you're right. Never mind, just forget it then. Noel looks immensely disappointed. Whoa, oh, fire alarm? Nope. What is this? Someone hacked the fire alarm to play the Super Mario Bros. theme. That's so good. Am I gonna get flagged for this? Students come flooding out of the classrooms. Hold on. I don't want to get flagged for this. They all look really glad for an excuse to li leave. Everyone is ex evacuating to the field like we're supposed to. Can you walk? Ye Dia catches Noel as she pitches forward again. Nope. Mm, let's just put that back. Boop. Dia gives Noel a piggyback ride to the field. The entire school's out here now. What's <laughs> up, homies? You! Can't believe you've done this. <laughs> is that her th Is that her, her catchphrase now? Oh my god. I love that vine so much. Uh, no, is it a vine? It's a video. I had to report you to the authorities, but you won't. What, you think I won't just because we're f f fellow acquaintances? Oh no, you're friends. Say you're friends. Fellow acquaintances! She was totally about to say friends. I was not! Admit it. Friends, friends, friends! I hate you more than it's physically possible right now. Oh, come on. What did you want me to do? 
Travel back in time and change Chinese culture not to see academic achievement as moral virtue? The only- the one who's getting saved doesn't get to complain. You broke the law, how can I not complain? Is anyone on this earth truly innocent? I love her, she is so good. You can't distract me with fake deep statements. You don't appreciate anything I do! Where's my Nobel Peace Prize? Where's my thank you, Akarsha? You're awesome! I'm not thanking you for this illicit help that I never asked for. Were you seriously expecting me to be praised? Never have I ever been more embarrassed for my fellow man. Oh, I'm a hero. You're not a hero! You're scumbag. Disgusting! Fine, be that way. I'm sorry. Forgive me? You don't even look remotely sorry. I can't help it if I think you're funny when you're mad. Just don't tell me and we'll call it even, deal? Oh, Akarsha offers her a handshake. Noelle regards it with obvious suspicion. She cautiously releases her grip on Dia's shoulders and reaches out to shake it. <laughs> oh. Oh. Instead of grasping her hand, Akarsha grabs Noelle's wrist. She starts hitting Noelle with her own hand. <laughs> Why are you hitting yourself? Why are you- I hate you! You stupid! <laughs> you should've killed me when you had the chance. I am loving this. Brianna Lay, you are very good, and I appreciate everything that you are doing, and I should have donated more. Yeah, so when you get this game, you get the option to donate as much as you want, and I suggest you do that if you like what you have seen so far. You should have killed me when you had the chance. Next time, I won't let you off so easily. This is your last warning. She said that last time, and the time before that. Power of friendship. A stranger brushes past Akarsha in the crowd. Akarsha gawks after her, placing her hand on her heart. Where are we? <laughs> Wait, that looks like... <laughs> what are we? That's so funny. Dia chases after the person. Dia? Where are we going? Person. The person is so short. Dia loses sight of her in the crowd. Yes, I'm glad she's still short. I lost her. Great. I'm so sleep deprived. I'm literally hallucinating. Oh, Min. What are we? That night, Dia dreams of the past. <coughs> Third grade. Whoa, I'm up to bat. Yeah! We get to hit the ball, this is so fun. Hey look, it's a girl batting. Phew, our team got lucky. Wow. Shut up, you dumb- you dumb poo-poo head. Say one more word and I'll kill you. What? What is a word? Die! The fight broke out in the stands. Oh my god. Min is beating the crap out of an old grandpa. Good. You better watch out. I'm Green Belt. Green Belt. The other adults are rushing to pull her off him. Min! Hot Wheels. Min scrambles down the rafters with everyone chasing after her. I'm taking you with me. She grabs Dia's wrist and sprints off with her in tow. Wait, stop! Oh, and she doesn't get the bat. We got away. Yeah, I kidnapped you. Sure. Now we can do whatever we want. Come on, I brought Jen's bike. Mill pulls Jin Seo's bike from out oh, from the bushes. She mounts the bike and looks at Dia expectantly. You sit on the rear rack. Shouldn't I be the one pedaling? I'm bigger than you. I'm training for when I get taller than you. Oh, poor baby. That's never gonna happen. You'll be short forever. How do you know? Just to watch. Are you getting on or not? Dia tentatively lowers herself onto the bike rack. So where do you want to go next? Ooh. Let's go to... You can decide. Min, you decide. Are you sure? The place I want to go take you to is pretty far, so if there's anywhere else you want to go, we should probably knock that out of the way first. Um... Okay, let's go through all of these. Let's go to your house. Your house. We won't be able to get in. My parents came out with me and I don't have the keys. Alright, you're basically a fugitive right now. Why do you want to go to my house anyway? You've already been there a bunch of times. It's fun seeing where you live. I feel like I learn something new every time I go. Really? Like what? Like you have to sleep in a girly pink blanket while Jin gets the Hot Wheels one. Aww. And there's a treadmill in the living room. Remember the time you tried to run on it at 10 speed to impress me, fell off and broke your arm? Oh, I I don't remember that. You must remember wrong. And you brush your teeth so hard so your toothbrush bristles look hilarious. They're all flattened. What's so funny about that? I have to make sure I kill the germs. She's me. Of course you do. Where should I go? Where should we go instead then? Let's go to my house. My house. You wanna go home already? No, that's not what I meant. You're invited too. We can play tag and eat ice cream. Aww. But aren't your parents there? You'll get in trouble if they see me with you. Aw, oh, right, darn. My parents are really unreasonable about Min. I'm not actually not even allowed to talk to her. Oh, it's so stupid. They don't know anything about her. But just because she has short hair and wear boy clothes, they hate her. Oh no, poor baby. They always call her a freak. Where should we go instead then? Hmm, Noel's house. Noel's house, we can say hi to Noel. What? Why? I miss her. 
I want to see baby Noelle. You just saw her yesterday. I miss her. Yuck. Oh, come on. You should give her a chance. She's so funny. She looks at every individual grape before she eats it. I do that too. What's wrong with that? I know she's kind of aloof, but it'd be so cool if you were friends. What's aloof mean? It's like cold. She always tries to hide how much she likes you, like a cat. Once you get used to it, it's sort of cute. At this, Minster's <laughs> expression dramatically sours. Oh, if you hate it that much, we can go somewhere else. Home Depot light section. Home Depot light section. What's so great about that? There's so many different lamps in one place. The designs are cool and it's really bright. The rest of the store is ordinary, but that one aisle feels like a special place in another world. I like to pretend I'm furnishing a house and pick my favorites. Hmm. I know it sounds bland. You don't have to. No, let's go. It sounds like a place that'll be boring if I went with my parents, but it'll but fun if I go with you. I know what you mean. If you're with someone you like, everywhere is interesting. Which way to Home Depot? Not sure. I haven't been there in years. Too bad. Where should we go instead then? Ask Min to decide. Okay. Hold on tight. You're not telling me where we're going? It's a surprise. Oh, great. Bike noises. After an extreme amount of effort on Min's part, they arrive at a ravine. We're- we here! That wasn't even a coherent sentence. Are you okay? Yeah, what kind of weakling do you think I am? Her legs must feel like jelly right now, but there's no way she'd ever admit it. Thanks for the ride! You're welcome. Anytime. Wait, what the heck was that? Oh, I got a message. Let me just close that. The place is down the hill and through the tunnel. Should I get off? It's too steep to bike down. Yeah, let's run down. Oh god, running down hills. Min enthusiastically leaps off the bike and sprints down the hill. The bike is just lying there in the grass. Wait, we can't leave this. T picks up the bike and runs after her. Min is waiting at the mouth of the tunnel. I want to hear something on the other side. Let's walk through. She peers into the darkness with a hopeful look on her face. What are you looking for? Skeletons? Oh! Are you scared? Don't worry, I'll protect you. Oh, I'm counting on you then. Yeah! I'll protect you with my life! Min grabs Tia's hand. There's water on the ground. Hold on to me so you don't slip. If I slip like this, she'll just get dragged down with me. That's true. No, I won't. Trust me. Okay, you know what? Let's save that right there and end this episode. Because I need more water and I'm dying. So, thank you guys for watching. Again, you should support Brianna Lave because this is great writing. Damn it. I'm going to buy this game again. Stop recording. Goodbye. Bye.